Right, you want to talk some of the best football I've seen, some of the greatest plays I've seen. Let me take you back to round 23, the showdown. The showdown of sh- This video is brought to you by no one, because I have no sponsors, and I'm definitely not looking for any. <laughs> oh, as Rosie picks up a free for getting manhandled, well, if we can get in the jersey just a little bit. You know what else is interesting here is that Schoenberg, he was actually being held as well, so I don't know what the umpire actually saw here to give Rosie the free kick. So usually what we see is when two players are holding each other, it's it's fair play, play on. It's only usually if one person is causing the problem, um, the umpire will pay something. Another reason why we can tell when Rosie is awarded the free kick and lets go of Schoenberg, the jersey ricochets back into Schoenberg's neck, um, which wouldn't have happened otherwise. So that was the umpire. A Bronx cheer towards the umps. Maybe that will get them thinking about the freeze more in this game. Now, this next segment, um, just, yeah, look, I wouldn't be watching. So after Rosie gets his free kick, he shanks the ball quite horrifically. Dawson thinks it's a great idea to kick it straight to another power player. And then there's Amon who thinks he's shy Bolton trying to kick one around the corner, but to absolutely no one. Now, I'm aware that actually I've got no f***ing idea who he is kicking this to. Whether you're colorblind or not, you're in a professional team. Sabotaging is one thing, but blatant match fixing, well... Now, as we do in these breakdowns, let's run this one back. So I believe Dawson's kick was too horizontal for what Schoenberg's lead was. It does appear that he was trying to get it to Schoenberg. He spots him. Schoenberg's got his hands in the air. And I think Schoenberg wanted to lead more of a 45 degree angle. The kick ended up too deep, too wide for what Schoenberg wanted. And then if we just have a look at what Amon's doing. Yeah, look. I'm clueless. I've got no idea. That's all right, though, because this next kick will be good. It will be just. It will be not 15. Play on. Like this channel. Subscribe for more Fanatics and leave a comment, would you? I'll reply. (laughs) Whistles blowing, people standing, and oh, Pow Pepper pounced. Come up from behind. Stalked his prey. Didn't give him an inch. (laughs) The free kick for causing a crime, and he boots it lace out perfectly to grey. The best kick we've seen all match. All right, let's have a look at that free kick. It looks like Schoenberg is a part of everything right now. Getting into Amon. Oh, and out of nowhere, Berry just throws him into the ground. And there's Pow Pepper causing the scene. All right, it clearly looks like Schoenberg gets straight into Amon after that disgraceful kick. Throws him onto the floor. And then Amon trips Schoenberg. And in comes Berry. Throws him to the ground. WWE style. We've seen that before, ladies and gentlemen. And then Pow Pepper comes from out of nowhere. Looks at the umpire pleading his case he thinks he's innocent in all of this the boys in the background have given up on their little tussle they don't give half a shit schoenberg's got his hands in the air he doesn't give a and then we've also got this weird little interaction with amon and berry so after being thrown to the ground amon gets up looks directly at berry's ass gives it a pat maybe he's thinking thanks mate at least my teammates won't get into me now after you threw me on the ground Rosie back into the thick of things after he started the whole mess and gets pushed straight into the back and the umpires paid it, threw his hands down, did the umpire. Free kicks now soon to be evening out after that decision. I think there was another whistle earlier than that as well. So the first whistle blown by the umpire was for the ball up. And then the second whistle, I believe, was for the push in the back. Now, I understand that you can give a free kick away after the whistle's been blown. Like if something's happening in the background, for instance, and someone's being punched in the face, then you can give a free kick. That's totally fine. But the fact that the umpire let this congested play go for that long to then give the free kick after he blows his first whistle, it does seem a little bit sus, and I know that crowds usually can impact the way that umpires perform out there. It's a massive thing for them, nothing against them, but you've got to be looking at the facts and what the play is at that current time. Don't think about what's happening in the previous two minutes. Think about what's happening right now, right in this play. I've blown my first whistle. Yes, he's dived on him afterwards, but I've already blown the first whistle to ball it up. We've seen a lot of plays in the past where umpires will blow their first whistle and something will happen after that particular whistle and nothing is paid. For some reason, that umpire really wanted to give that free kick to Rosie. And I don't know if it's because he f***ed up that kick before or if the fans were pressuring him, but in my opinion, there isn't a free kick there. 
based on the fact that he's already blown his first whistle. He's already wanting to throw the ball up in the air. And the player who's pushed him in the back clearly didn't mean to throw himself that far forward. Maybe he's heard the whistle, so he's thinking, oh, okay, I can just, you know, let this one out. I can just fall because who cares? The whistle's being blown. So that's what I think. So I don't know why there was about 15 whistles going on then. Players just have no idea these days what's going on. There's too many whistles, too many umpires on the field. And after that free kick, since the players are all standing still, Rosie gets clear vision of Finlayson. So we've got Finlayson lining up for a set shot. Um, the TV director clearly is confused about which camera angle to choose. Maybe not the one with the umpire in the way. Um, oh, there he is again. Please change your camera angle. Thank you very much. I at least need the opportunity to see Finlayson kick this goal for Port Adelaide. After all, the umpires did help them get the ball from one end of the field to the other. So, oh, 